good morning or maybe good evening. In today's video we will dig deeper into the lore of the Witcher world. This video is going to mark the beginning of a new series about the Witcher schools. We are going to start with the least known schools and ascend to the most known ones, with the last one being the School of the Wolf. In this video we are going to focus on the School of the Crane. Not many of you have probably heard of this school, it has only been mentioned in a book titled Tales from the World of the Witcher. The book as far as I know was only released in Poland and is in canon to the original books by Andrzej Sapkowski. Now let's take a look at the school. Now let's start with the history. The School of the Crane is a Witcher school established after the Second Conjunction and was founded by Potem Pitch. The school is called Ker Dar and is located in the western continent in an area called Fabiola. In the year 1380, witches were needed to protect ships in the routes between Sheridan and Novigrad. The route was plagued by sea and air monsters. It was then that with the help of his friends, Charles and Jabalay, who were a knight and a mage, Putnam began the project of the new school. To build the fortress he needed a lot of funds which he didn't have, and due to the prejudice of the witchers no one wanted to fund them. Only when the monster population became uncontrollable he received the help. In the same year the fortress was built and the school of the crane was born. The first student was Putnam's first adopted son, Stefan the Crane. Putnam adopted a total of 29 children and only 10 out of those survived. They ended up being known as the first ones. In 1500, Putnam stood down from being a grandmaster to Stefan and helped him when needed. Now let's talk about the characteristics of the school, such as the equipment they used and what they specialized in. The main specialty of the school was fighting the air and sea monsters on long routes between Sheridan and Novigrad, although they worked on other terrains too. Their swords were specifically designed in a way that could withstand high water pressure. The sign set they used was the same as the rest of the Witcher, with one extra sign designed by Jabalay and Putnam. It was basically the opposite of the Ard, it allowed them to throw their sword at an air and sea monster and instantly retreat it. They used crossbows like the Witcher from the School of the Wolf and the Bear. They had different approach to armor, they didn't use it. Instead they wore common clothes and the different colors of clothing represent their rank within the school. Their fighting style was similar to that of the cat. They focused on speed and precision. They also used a form of early guns and specialized in long range combat. They wore belts where they kept all their equipment. They also had a set of unique mutations developed by Jabolet. These mutations were far stronger than that of most other schools. The mutations focused on strength, speed, endurance and improved vision. These mutations were two times stronger than most others. All of this so that they could be more effective in the ocean. It is mentioned that the mutations were influenced by the school of the siren. The school of the crane also developed an early form of diving equipment. They used a protective suit which covered everything apart from hands, feet and head. This suit was tied by a long rope to a mast of a vessel. This is all the information I could gather about the school of the crane. There is a lot more schools for me to cover. The first aid I'm going to do will be the Order of the Witchers and the schools of the Manticore, Bear, Griffin, Viper, Cat, Wolf and Crane which we covered in this episode. It was hard to find all the information needed for this video so I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did leave a like and if you want to see the continuation of the series make sure to subscribe. It's free and you can exchange your mind there. Other than that, thank you for watching and good luck on your path.